Hi, what I will show here are prototypes of 3D functionalities for motion nodes. The interface will obviously be very different. The buttons and sliders here only serve to visualize ideas. For example, we could use a mid-size 3D object as a floor or stage and change the textures according to interior or exterior spaces. Let's go with the wooden floor of a dance studio. Evidently, the user will be able to position, resize and navigate the 3D objects. Two D media, such as this video of a Portuguese traditional dance by our partners from Pedeshombo can be used imported as a layer of a 3D object, in this case a simple plane. This way the video can be positioned, resized and manipulated as a 3D object. Now let's use a small scale 3D object as a notation. Musical instruments might be a good idea in this context of the traditional Portuguese dance video. As we can see here, the different 3D objects can be grouped and positioned, resized and navigated together. Another idea is to use a 2D file, such as an image, as a background and combine it with a 3D object for annotation. The flute we saw before in the 3D environment now is superimposed on a separate layer and can be manipulated independently. A third possibility is the use of 360-degree video. Here we see dancers from the Portuguese National Ballet in a new production by choreographer Rui Lopes Graça. In this particular case, the motion graphics you see are not annotations and motion nodes, but part of the video production realized by Carla Fernandes, myself and Roger Oliveira during the Black Box research project. As we can see here, the 360 degree video can be navigated by zooming in, panning around, etc. A fourth possibility is to embed a screen capture functionality in motion nodes so that any web content or local files can be visualized. In this case, a 3D file from Arctur, our partners here in the Weave project. Again, this video layer can be combined with other content, for example, the musical instruments that we have seen before. Moving on, we will have a look at the second prototype. Here we see a proxy version of the Cultural Heritage 3D example model provided by Arctur and combine it with different smaller scale 3D objects to get an idea how we could annotate in a 3D environment in motion nodes in the near future. Here I am navigating the 3D model in Blender to look for a place where I can insert our Portuguese traditional dance model examples. 
Once I make my decision, I add the stage, the video screen and the musical instrument. Finally, I start the playback of the video file. This is what we can share at this moment with you. Thank you for your interest. We are looking forward to your questions, comments and other feedback.